So, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for coming, and thank you, Vitor, for inviting me to be here today. Uh, my name is Sofia. Uh, I'm a test engineer at Onfido, and today I'm going to talk about contract testing. So, suppose you're on a team, and your team owns a service that needs to be integrated with other services uh, that are owned by other teams within your company. At some point, you will have to write integration tests to make sure that the integration works as expected. Uh, and to do that, you have a couple of options. Option one, you can mock the services that you depend on. This means that your tests will run fast, they will be deterministic. Um, you don't need to worry about, um, uh, you, don't, you don't need to worry about um, configuring your dependencies to work together because they will be mocked. However, this is not how the real world works because you will get biased by your mocks which can e easily get outdated. So that leads us to option number two in which you, you use your real dependencies uh, which brings more confidence to your tests. However, they will be slower uh, they, the environment may, may not be easy to, to configure, so the dependencies all work together. Uh, and the tests may not be determ deterministic anymore, which kind of sucks if you have a pipeline that runs multiple times a day. So what, what if we could have the best of both worlds? So having all the benefits of mocks and all the benefits of a fully uh, deployed environment. With contract testing, um, you will be using mocks, which are based on uh, an API contract between the services uh, involved. And um, sorry, <laughs> uh, the um, the contract will be enforced by your CI system uh, because if the contract is not respected, then the pipeline will fail and failed pipelines don't get deployed to production. At least, supposedly. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so, in, at Ofido, we use PACT for contract testing. PACT is a consumer-driven contract testing tool uh, provided by PACT Foundation. Being, uh, being consumer-driven means that um, it's the, the API the, the service that consumes the API that establishes what it, it is expecting to receive when it sends a certain request. And the contract is devised based on those expectations. Uh, in contract testing, we have a couple of intervenients. The first one is the consumer. The consumer is a service that initiates the HTTP request the request is sent uh, to the provider and the provider is responsible to respond to it. Um, the contract is a set of interactions composed of request response uh, pairs um, between the two services and the broker is where the contract is stored which can be a generic asset server or a version control system. And now that we know the intervenients um, when you're developing um, the consumer, you will write tests um, to test the integration, of course. Uh, and with PACT, you, you will write a test that will make a request to a mock provider that is created by PACT. And this, provider will re this mock provider will um, receive the request and compare it to whatever uh, request is uh, stored in the contract. And if the received request and the request from the contract match, uh, then it will respond with uh, the response that's in the contract and the consumer will make the appropriate validations on its end. Um, the test will only be su successful if all steps are completed uh, successfully. When you test the, the provider, uh, the test is initiated by the mock consumer, which is also provided by PACT. Um, it, will it will get the request, the expected request from the contract, it will send to the provider, the provider will reply accordingly with an actual response, 
and the uh, mock consumer will compare the response received with whatever is in the contract. And again, the test will only pass if the all steps complete successfully. So to conclude, uh, contract testing improves uh, confidence in your tests. Uh, and because you are using mocks, your tests will be fast. You don't need to worry about um, making up complex, uh, setting up complex uh, infrastructure uh, to run your tests. Your tests will be stable and deterministic. And because everything is mocked and the tests are fast, you can actually get sh uh, feedback on your developments pretty fast, which means that you will fail fast if needed. And that's it. Thank you all.